In this lesson, we're going to chain open and closed curves. And you'll note that in my part, I have a square pocket, and I also have a slot that runs through the part. The square pocket, or the lines that form the square pocket, will become my closed curve. Likewise, the lines that form the edges of the slot will be my open curves. Now, one of the things that you'll note is on the left-hand side of the screen here in the toolbox, it looks a little bit different. I have the part view shown. Now before, we saw the steps menu. Well, right above that, you'll see part view. And what you want to do is click there, and the part view options will be displayed. And we'll talk a little, a little bit more about this as we get into developing or chaining our curves. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and first chain the curve that forms the closed uh, feature. So up in the geometry toolbar, you'll note I have the chain icon or curve chaining icon, and I'm going to click the drop down, and I'm going to select the icon for closed curve. And when I do that, down in the details bar, it asks me step one, pick the geometry segment to create the closed loop. Now, I want to go ahead and uh, you can define these names. Uh, in this case here, it's curve six, and that's fine. If you, if you want to, you can rename it to curve one, provided there's not already a curve in your drawing that has the curve one name. So let's leave it as curve six. And I'm going to pick the geometry segment to create the closed loop. And when I go over to the closed curve or the pocket and select once, you'll note that it highlights in bold blue showing me that I have successfully selected this closed feature. And once that's done, you're going to hit Create in the Details bar. And the highlight goes away, but the part remains highlighted in blue. And that has successfully shown that I've created the curve, or in this case here, the closed curve that will form uh, the pocket. And you'll see that in the Part view, under Curves, if I expand that, you'll see Curve 6 is shown. So let's go ahead now and we'll chain the open curves that form the slot that passes through the part. Going back up to the geometry toolbar, select the curve chaining icon. We're going to pick the pieces that will form the open curve. So select that. Now what we want to do is make sure that we select the curve pieces in the direction that, uh, that we want the curve to be oriented. In this case here, I want the curve to be oriented from or progress from left to right. So I'm going to select the line on the left hand side and when I do that I get a, a, a blue dot that shows me I have that line selected and now I'm going to select the radius and you'll note I have bold blue showing up or being uh, constructed as I as I chain to the right and finally I select the, the third segment and you'll see that this entire line is now highlighted. This is a open feature that will form the upper edge of the slot and I'm going to hit create and that was curve 7 and you'll see these curves are starting to be listed in the part view under the curves uh, listing. Curve 6 was the curve that forms the uh, or the curve that we chained that forms the pocket and curve 7 is the upper portion of my slot. Now let's go ahead and select curve 8 which will be the lower portion of the slot and we'll do it in the same fashion that we did curve 7. Selecting 1 and 2 and now 3 and we're finished and we hit create and we have successfully created all of the curves both open and closed that will form the pocket and the slot that passes through this part. 